it's all over. And we got a long road ahead of us. I don't think you can actually clean up Washington, D.C. I don't think you can fix it. It's already fixed. President Trump's going to have to invite all of his contractor buddies. They're going to have to put a fence around D.C., three layers deep. You're going to have to pamphlet the city. Anybody that wants out, we got metal detectors, and you're going to get strip searched. You're not getting out with any of the evidence. Anybody that wants to stay, you're an enemy combatant. We're going to flood the city and wash it out. We're going to divert the Potomac. We're going to watch where the water comes out of those slimy holes. I don't care if they're 200 miles away. And then, after we've flushed it clean about three times, because we're not taking any chances with any of our guys, then we're going in, we're going door to door, and we're going to clean that place out, and we're not going to occupy it again. We're just going to leave it fenced up as a spectacle to the world of the insanity of these groups that have tried to manipulate us. And we're going back to right thinking, godly thinking, sound thinking. I'm a very stable genius. Humans, not these monsters that have taken over our country and our way of life. I hope all of your listeners decide to be counted. I hope that they'll find a way to, to close ranks, recognize each other in the spirit of that kid. We all are. We all choose to remember and be standing on the side of a street as our father, president, figure, friend, fellow American rolled by.